Welcome to the Guild Trivia Implosion. I am so excited to be back with you here today. We have three contestants, and I can't wait for you to meet them. I found one. She's right there. Erin, say hello. <laughs> hello. Erin, what a fantastic hat you have on. Thank you. It's festive. Erin, <laughs> tell us what qualifies you to answer trivia questions. Because my brain is a sponge for trivia. I just know things for no reason. <laughs> Look, there's Ethan. Say hi, Ethan. Hello. Thanks for having me. Ethan, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, well, I'm under six foot tall. I love pro wrestling and I know a lot about dogs. Fantastic. This is the dating thing, right? The dating profile app? Uh, you never know. It hasn't worked for any of us yet, but you might be the first. Cool. Give it a shot. Here is one of those great contestants right now. Chloe, say hello. Hello. Chloe, hot. what qualifies you to answer trivia questions? Um, I, in my junior year of high school, I won gold at Scholars Bowl District. So I'm pretty much the most qualified you can be. Sounds great. You today have chosen the category, Your Happy Place. These are questions all about Disneyland. Have you ever been to Disneyland? I have. I went once when I was five, and I went once when I was 18. Uh, I'm going to make the argument that it's better as an adult. Really? Yeah, I believe it was Patton Oswalt that said, uh, Disneyland is a great example of what happens when you give an obsessive compulsive a lot of money. Okay. I actually took a class called America Through the Lens of Disney that I, I it was a three credit hour class at Vanderbilt that I, I was allowed to take and we learned all about Disney. So maybe I'm, yeah. This might be right up your alley. Mm -hmm. Then again, you might crash and burn. I think I might crash and burn, folks. Okay, let's find out. We're gonna start out with question number one. It's worth one point. The first incarnation of Disneyland was an eight acre play park next door to Walt Disney Studios. And it was named after which Disney animated star? Mickey Mouse. I'm gonna say Mickey Mouse. I'm gonna guess Mickey Mouse, even though that's so obvious. <laughs> There's a reason that some things are obvious. It's because they are correct. Good job. Yay. <laughs> Got yourself one point. Right on. Vanderbilt, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Question two is worth two points. On Disneyland's opening day, also known as Black Sunday, Disney was given the choice between having working drinking fountains or having running toilets, thanks to a strike of what kind of workers? It sounds like a plumbing issue. I would say plumbers. Plumbers? S like sewage pe people? The people who do the, the, the pipes? We call those people plumbers. That's and what they're called. Oh, God. <laughs> we will go ahead. You get those points. Um, by the way, he chose toilets over the working drinking fountains. That's good. It can be messy otherwise. <laughs> Probably the right call, Walt. Um, everybody was super mad because they thought that perhaps he did it on purpose so he could sell more Pepsi. That would never happen. Which I'm sure he didn't see as a drawback to not having the, the drinking fountains. <laughs> Every dark cloud has a silver lining. I mean, there are worse things that billionaires have done in this world. Name one. No, just kidding. <laughs> Question three is worth three points. Walt Disney could not afford to build the park on his own. So... A brand new TV network put up the money in exchange for a show called Disneyland. It worked because later on, Walt Disney purchased that same network. What name did that network go by? I'm going to say it was Cartoon Network. 
ABC. That was A ABC, right? Is it A ABC? ABC, that's correct. Yes. Well done. Three points. Right. The artist One. formerly known as ABC. Question four is worth four points. Inspiration for Disneyland may have come from Walt's father, who worked at which enormous Chicago event in 1893 that included attractions from countries across the globe? I'm gonna say the World's Fair? Uh, that would be the World's Fair. Chicago World Fair? The World's Fair, that is correct, yes. Also known as the World's Columbian Exposition. Let's go with World's Fair, rolls off the tongue a little better. Done. <laughs> Only one question left. Four for four. Four for four, how does that feel? I feel strong, I feel great. Question five is worth five points. In 1959, which Soviet first secretary visited the U.S. with only two wishes, to visit Disneyland and to meet John Wayne? First secretary. Vladimir Lenin? Gorbachev. It's an interesting wish. Uh, Khrushchev. Is it Khrushchev? Holy crap, it is Khrushchev. Good job. Khrushchev. I don't really know where the, the, the time lines are, so. Ah, see, I always thought that guy was a wrestler, so that one didn't come to mind. <laughs> Queen Sweep. <laughs> oh, I don't know you know that. Are you a communist? <laughs> Maybe. By the way, he did get to meet John Wayne, but they would not let him into Disneyland. Good. Makes sense. No commies in Disneyland. <laughs> you feel like that would have been the easier task, but well, to each of their own. Aaron, congratulations. You have done the second ever clean sweep here on the Woo! Trivia Imp So it's just a formality, but let's go ahead and check the scoreboard. <laughs> oh, that scoreboard is lit up and going crazy because you got 15 points for a perfect score and first place Yay. today. Awesome. Thank you. Yay. I'm a winner. <laughs> Let's take a look at that scoreboard. Ten points. It was a really tough day, but you get second place. Darn it. So close. That means that you get to mop up Donald Duck's saliva from the pool beneath his desk. Oh, I didn't know that Donald Duck worked a desk job. Let's take a look at the scoreboard. Ethan, you've got seven points, which means you are today's third place winner. Okay, that scans for 2020. That means in the pantheon of Disney characters, you are today's Goofy. It could be worse. I could be living in a doghouse like that loser Pluto. Ethan, thanks so much for joining us on today's Guild Trivia Implosion. Hope you'll come back again. My pleasure. Thanks, John. Thank you, and we'll see you all next time.